Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, it's late night at the moment and I just can't get asleep for some reason so I just decided to make yet another tutorial covering uh, one of the topics being requested uh, via email recently and one of my su subscribers uh, whose name is Alexander actually asked me to help him uh, to run the scraper, uh, to run the scrapey spider uh, from within a web application and uh, to render the results to uh, to the web page uh, when the scraper is done basically and uh, I already have uh, a video covering this like topic using requests in beautiful soup so um, feel free to check that out as well and this time uh, so uh, here here is the folder basically containing uh, his project so he just didn't he, he just asked me not to expose his name and email into public that's the reason why I'm not showing you his his actual uh, his, his email in particular and it, it, it's uh, totally to totally in Russian so you probably won't understand much of what's written there so uh, here is really lots of things to, to to talk about basically regarding this particular project. Uh, I'll just cover. I'll cover it. This, uh, I'll cover it just uh, right in a minute. And um, well, um, so uh, I just I just want to say that uh, here are some issues, and uh, also here are some requests as well. Uh, I will also need to check uh, some of those requests along the video because I, I don't really remember all of them by heart so he just wanted to provide a couple of uh, arguments uh, to the particular spider so it would be nice like if uh, if the user would be able to provide a couple of arguments of what exactly to scrape from the web application and then kind of click the scrape button and eventually the scraper is uh, is, is actually starts running and finally uh, it gets done basically so uh, well and we have the, the results so here is the output of the scraper he, he has provided so this kind of data should be rendered to, to the web page and here is the web page that uh, he uh, managed to obtain using the Jinja uh, using the static Jinja uh, Python library but uh, that's exactly the problem. So uh, why he didn't actually, uh, why he wasn't, why he wasn't able to to, to succeed here is because uh, of using the static, uh, the, the static stati static page. So he just generated this using the Jinja template to to render uh, actually um, JSON file the d data from the JSON file, which is pretty nice, but still. Uh, it's not the way to go if you really want to run the scraper dynamically from uh, uh, from the web application. So, um, if you're interested in this uh, kind of sort of a project, uh, let's actually start. Well, <laughs> before uh, before actually I start start writing some code, I need to figure out if what we, what we got here basically apart from from this uh, nice output. So. Uh, well, any case. So, if if you want to proceed, let's let's move on. Basically, so the very first thing to consider, uh, I would like to have a look at is the scraper itself. So, if we just go to the spiders folder. Here is the wellness.py uh, spider name, and what I can see already that it does. It, uh, so, probably he was uh, kind of about to run this scraper from. Uh, using the scrapey shell because I can't see really any crawler process here. So just just to check that, just to check that, uh, uh, just to check that actually, uh, I want to try to uh, enter the folder. And if I just open the terminal, well, I guess I need to say something like scrapey crawl. I never, <laughs> I never uh, used the crawl. Uh, scrapers using scrapey shell because you know like it's more like for demonstration I believe rather than the pre than for production but still and 
what's the scraper name I just I probably need to provide the scraper name wellness so I guess if I just type wellness here it would have run the scraper I'm not sure but I really hope okay so here we got our scraper uh, it doesn't seem to be working okay wellness object has no attribute category mm, what kind of line is this mm. Hundred and twenty seven. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my god, no, it's not here, definitely. Okay, self category. Okay, so th this is this is it, I guess. There's no object category. Oh, yeah, and that's probably because uh, that's the exact argument he is supposed to be scraping. Okay, guys, just hold on a sec. Oh. Ninja subscribe to your channel man this is nice thanks for subscribing appreciate that okay so I just pause pause the recording and uh, find out what exactly arguments he asks me to pass and then we go on okay okay so here are the categories well and it seems like well at least uh, relying on his email that I'm not sure but I, I guess he uh, he's passing the category as an argument I'm not sure if this if this is possible actually so let, let me just self category so uh, I'm not really sure <laughs> how exactly to do this <laughs> believe it or not uh, it's a bit weird way of doing things to my own uh, for, for my for my experiences perspective so not exactly sure how he does this where he takes this so so uh, okay okay just hold on a sec okay it seems uh, like I didn't even manage to find <laughs> the exact stack overflow question that uh, I guess th th this code was grabbed from like this this part so here it is basically and yeah so that in itself category oh it's not it's not it's not exact I guess parameter one parameter two yeah I guess this is the way to go here so this is it okay def in it and start URLs okay so I I is it implemented the same way actually well, I guess it is not for some reason that requests well I'm not sure if this still would work so let me just see the syntax for providing those arguments minus minus a parameter one value one okay so let's try to say oh my god uh, it's not exactly what I wanted to see Okay, so let's try scrapey, sh scrapey, crow, and wellness, and minus a category equals to, well, let's say this one, counselor, copy, and if I just paste this in, well, I'm not sure if it works, okay, it seems like, okay, perfect, so, so now we get, uh, okay, we get some, yeah it gets some errors but generally it seems to be working just just fine so well I guess the output well uh, actually I'm not uh, rewriting any output because I didn't specify uh, I didn't specify it so well at least I can see that the scraper is working well more or less just fine address education for his last name phone uh, yeah so this is nice actually and we have the output data well Alexander well done what I can say is that the scraper is working so it's all seems to be just right straight to the point so 
Uh, now let's actually, uh, so uh, I will be using this kind of scraper, well I'm, I'm not going to dive into the code, so he's using XPath, well I'm used to use CSS, and well he, he's doing this his own way, I don't mind, obviously, uh, I'm not sure why exactly it's so complicated, but that profile, oh my god, where is this used? Uh, profile. Oh, it's a callback function, okay. So it's just a callback function. Well, good, good. It's just uh, not clear what exactly this stuff does, so it would be probably better called like parse profile, but uh, that's not, I wasn't really asked for that, so just leave that. So uh, now let's try to uh, integrate this scraper uh, the proper way in order to use it later on uh, within the web application that we'll create in this video as well so uh, I guess you know like mm, I don't like using this well probably we could have ever even uh, we could have even use this item exporters exporters that he did use uh, I'm not sure probably I just don't want to you know, like I, I would do, I would do this uh, completely different way, but still. Well, okay. Uh, let's start adding things uh, that are really necessary, and then then we'll see if we just need to change something else or not. So uh, the very first thing to consider is just actually to say from crawler uh, from sorry scrapy dot crawler we need to import crawler process. Uh, just in order to oh my god what have I done <laughs> okay crawler process uh, like this so uh, eventually we would be able to run this uh, spider from um, from within a Python script actually not using the scrapy shell and so uh, I will be comment commenting only those lines of code that are actually uh, that are actually, you know, like uh, mine that that I did change here, and I don't know. I didn't yet ask Alexander if uh, he allows me to share this code in public. Well, I guess he would let me know if it is. But by default, uh, I actually won't be sharing this because it's not my code; it's my subscribers' code. So um, here uh, uh, we're using. Uh, uh, crawler process uh, to be able to run to run uh, spider from within Python script. Okay. Also, um, we'll need to provide some custom settings here, uh, just in order to be able to store. Our response to JSON, just like he does, in, uh, just like he seem he, he seemed to be doing uh, here uh, regarding at least on this one is the JSON file. So we're getting the JSON file in return. And let me just have a look at this again. So first, last name, about address, phone. Yeah, perfect. So um, so I say custom settings equals to and here I need to provide a couple of parameters so the first one would be the fit format and this would be equal to JSON as far as he wants to store this to JSON and also feed URI would be equal to wellness uh, wellness dot JSON. I'm not sure where exactly this uh, is supposed to be stored. Well, I guess, I guess just like, oh, my cat is eating something. Okay, I guess it, it should be stored over here. Okay, and, well, in any case, uh, also we need to provide a main driver here. So, I say main driver and if name equals uh, to main. Well, I'm not sure if this this would work from within a sub process, but I guess this should this should actually. And 
here we need actually to run our scraper and I'm creating the instance of the crawler process by saying process equals to crawler process and process dot crawl and provide a spider name as an argument so wellness okay paste and process dot start okay so from now on I guess we should be able to run this from Python script but uh, in order to be able to process this line I guess we should be in exactly the same path uh, regarding our current working directory so here mm, okay let me just see like, where are we at the moment so here we are within uh, okay mm, within this scrapey project I guess uh, if I just if I just go one level up, uh, okay, so here, uh, now I'm at the level where our app.py will be. So, can I, can I actually try like Python 3 and, oh my god, scraper, scraper, spiders, I guess, and wellness.py. It couldn't. Okay, let's check the path appropriately. So, scraper, scraper, spiders. Well, this is a this is slightly strange. Wellness dot by wellness. Mm. Mm. So here is the scraper folder. Uh, okay, let's try a last scraper, scraper. No such file directory, come on. Oh. But hold on a sec, is this? Oh my god. Uh, scraper. It's slightly bit okay. So scrapey uh, config. Oh my god! So so he he uses this. Uh, he's trying to render the stuff within being inside the scrapey project. Oh my god! But obviously, it's not the way of doing things. So yeah, we should have changed the project stru structure slightly bit. Okay, so. Um, uh, so let's move let's move to desktop so <laughs> oh my god I need completely to change the project structure in order to make it work properly okay but nevertheless let's try again like this hope this works okay no module named scraper okay and if we just cd to scraper and still well uh okay guys so you know like uh obviously uh i just don't want to dive deep in, into somebody else's code like you know like everybody is, is used to do things his own way so i, I would probably just show how i would do that and you to judge basically if what what actually to do with that and if that is fine or not so you know like uh so alexander i'm really sorry for i'm not uh, trying to follow the patterns presented in your code here well i consider i personally consider them to be slightly inaccurate so i will just go right through to the gist so uh i would basically take uh this the spider here and uh uh, I will build uh, all the rest uh, my own way basically so uh, let's just try to create a new folder so let's call this scraper web okay and 
here. Well, uh, I will just uh, you know like in order to keep things simple, I would make all the stuff just within the single uh, just just within the single folder. So let me just copy this. Uh, copy paste. So this one would be called scraper.py. Oh my god, I don't need a calc. And also another uh, another useful thing here at least is this templates folder with yeah with this template here. So I just copy the templates folder as well, paste. And I guess we don't need anything else here. So just close. Okay, so uh, without oh, oh my god, <laughs> what have I done? So hold on a sec. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, uh, bring the arguments we need to to use here along the way. So uh, not to forget them. Save. Okay, and as far as from now on, well, you know, like yeah, as far as this uh, starts to be all, uh, like almost my code. Uh, well, I'm not sure. So, well, probably here I would just give him a credit. So, um, I just call this Alec oh my God. Alexander's code, uh, spider code, uh, with CMK, that's me, go monkey king. Uh, I don't know, fixes, additions. Uh, with CMK additions. Okay, let's call this this way. So, um, uh, and okay, probably. Say that CMK's code is commanded. Okay, so um, and here I just um, say so the request was to pass arguments uh, acupuncturists. Okay. And counselor to spider. Okay, so just just not to forget what what actually we are doing here. Save. Great. So uh, okay. Now uh, so I just don't want this item explorer is explorers anymore. So instead we just say like uh, item equals. So I say simply create um, uh, scraped item. Uh, you need item. Just I, I think this is just fine. You need item. Uh, um, so well, and let's try actually to run this. Uh, so I say Python three. Okay, yeah, so it runs, uh, it runs, it does probably uh, give it some error because like again category is not being provided. And um, here is, uh, so here is the way how we're supposed to be providing the arguments for this scraper as far as we're going to be using the web interface in order to define those. Uh, I would like to just create a new file and uh, we can call this settings or whatever basically. Well, let's call this uh maybe arguments well let's call this settings so don't want don't, don't want adjacent so what is what exactly we will, will need to provide here so just the category yeah mm. okay let's go for JSON format so this uh, would be able so so we will be able to we would be able to extend this later on with other uh like uh arguments or parameters if needed so uh, here we need to say that uh, wait, 
this uh, category and uh, by default let's take this going on sword so paste save and so before we actually do doing anything here so here we can say we need uh, well so for before we go there so settings content and settings would be equal to empty stream now uh, load settings from local file and I say with open and now it starts being a little bit tricky because okay now as far as we're supposed to be doing this all within this current working directory I guess yeah the path maybe just uh, specified like this so settings.json just for the sim just for simplicity guys because yeah it's kind of sort of a tutorial rather than the production rate project so I'm just trying to uh, keep this then simple to to make it clear for you what's going on here so we want to read the file stream as file and for line in f.read mm. we need to populate our settings here and that we need to parse our settings and in order to do that we need also to import uh, import uh, import JSON so this is needed uh, uh, to parse settings well let's just keep it like as is basically so Mm, here we say simply like settings and not just set well uh, well okay so we we are using settings here right okay so this is probably just fine so settings would be equal json dot loads and uh, settings right so before we actually go in anywhere mm, let me just try to print our settings and I should have uh, obtained the Python dictionary in return category counselor perfect so um, so if we say like settings category I would obtain exactly the same uh, argument being provided before I guess Okay, I did something horribly wrong, I guess. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me just. Mm. Mm. So, I, can I reference by this name? I just can't see where are we. So. <laughs> this is really so strange. I mean, is this a dictionary actually? So, this is really strange. And. Oh, it's a string. What about this line? Does it work? Okay, guys, just hold on a sec. I, I have no idea what, what's going to run here. So, it doesn't, it doesn't parse. Mm. This is really strange. Oh, 
well th this error goes for be just because we don't crawl in anything that's just fine but uh, doesn't load why doesn't it parse actually class dictionary well perfect so why not oh setting oh my god this is just a horrible type of settings okay now this should work so we say settings and reference by the category oh my god okay so counselor this is it okay so ju just just miss this little ass okay so i <laughs> just miss this little ass <laughs> oh my god last video i said dick instead of div <laughs> and this time i miss a little ass <laughs> oh man uh, this drives me crazy man okay so this means that from now on we can use this settings category so just copy and here like uh, we can use not the self, not self category but instead this settings category and this should work just fine so if I just try to run the scraper again guess this would be yeah it's working so well it, it gives some uh, some errors but uh, well, it's it's not my code so I'm not responsible for that uh, the only thing I would like to consider here is actually uh, reviewing item so here what where, where it yields the item okay so he probably forwards data along the way Yield item. Well, oh, let's did it did it save something? It didn't. Well, let me think. So okay. Mm, parse directions. Well, it happens basically when. Mm, when you forward in data uh, data multiple times along the way, the standard this st standard uh, output definition might not always work for some reason. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, that's probably because I did actually. Mm. Well, okay. Uh, let's just use those items from the original code okay let's just use reuse the item from the original code so I just don't want to lo lose much time on debugging this so or probably so is this is this it okay so just copy and yeah probably this is the way to go. Uh, based item spy and what what is what was in his code? Uh, mm, wellness item. Okay, copy. Uh, okay. Yeah, by the way, the, the tricky thing here that eventually, thanks to Alexander and his code, uh, I learned about items like, it seems like I'm, I, I almost understand where, why exactly to use them, probably, the, this is the reason, actually. So just to be able to, mm, okay, so from items, simply, save, uh, just to be able to yield the data to the, uh, desired output after being forwarded multiple times within 
uh, within inside this this scraper itself. So okay, mm, I just don't need this item anymore. Mm, well, I guess. I really hope this would work now. Okay. It didn't. Still, you kidding me, man? This is really strange. So it's not about this. Hmm. Well, this object has no attributed profile. Some works, some doesn't. Well, you know what? So, yeah, change the plan. So get rid of this again. So as far as it doesn't work even so, so it's my, my assumption was kind of wrong, so this item selectors doesn't help to solve the particular issue, so uh, let's get back to the initial implementation, and well in this case we don't need this custom settings at all, so let's just, let's just simply write the data directly to uh, using the JSON line format, so here uh, just say write output file, well, and we could have used JSON as well, but uh, it's too much code to write, so we'll be just using the JSON L, which stands for JSON uh, uh, object separated by the new line. So we we'll say with open and wellness JSON. We want to write the uh, no, we want to append the file string, sorry, as file, and we say f.write and item, I guess. Nope, not the item, but json dumps mm, item indentation equals to two spaces, followed by the new line like this. Okay, let's try again. Okay. So let's have a look. Oh no no no! Uh, it has to be Jason L instead. Hold on a sec. Uh, Jason L. Does it fire? Actually, I'm really wondering. It doesn't even go there. My God! So it just doesn't even go there. Oh man, that's why I don't like digging into in, in within somebody else's code. So it doesn't even go to parse directions. But this did work. This did work within. Scrape your shelf for some reason, which is obviously strange. Why it doesn't work here? Oh my god, my camera disappeared. I'm sorry for this, guys. Mm. Okay, okay, guys, I'm sorry. It seems like uh, I just found what's wrong here. So let's try to reference wellness item that I've already deleted. Okay, now JSON L file appears. Okay, perfect. So now we get our output within the JSON L file. Perfect. So let me just try to get rid of this mm, stuff. Or we don't need this anymore. So here is the output uh, of the scraper, how it looks like. Well, I'm not diving into the data because it's uh, outside the scope of this tutorial. Just just as a matter of, uh, just uh, as a matter of fact or proof of concept. So just does scrape something which is already good so um, and also it takes uh, its argument from this settings.json file so whatever we have here this category so uh, it's scrape so if we just change this to say this kind of equ equipment tourists so let's see the very first here so first name so th this data should be different and let me just try that as well so paste save so we don't need this file anymore and 
yeah let's let, let's just let's kick this away as well so uh, I just want to run this one more time with a different argument now uh, okay so yeah it's 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 a different person already well it's probably it's just because the order of Krellin but still yeah echo uh, Pinterest so this is the, the primary special that has been changed so that means that our arguments actually works well uh, okay so well basically uh, great because regarding the web scraping code this seems to be just kind of it so we can move from now on to creating our web application to actually invoke this stuff well I'm sorry this took a little bit of uh, a little bit too long regarding uh, debugging this web scraping code and actually uh, making it possible to use it in, in exact way that was requested by Alexander so well I hope uh, until now it's kind of pretty clear so at the moment I uh, just need to create a new file I'll call this app.py and now we'll create um, well, so let's call this like uh, Flask Web App to run a scrapey spider from web interface. Okay, so first we need to import some packages and we say from flask import flask we'll need uh, we'll need more uh, okay probably from flask I didn't do this for it uh, for uh, quite a bit of time don't remember everything by heart so I guess from flask we need to import Render template, I guess. And uh, well, well, we'll be mm, adding things uh, just right along the way. So then we need to create app instance. So we say app equals flask and name is an argument, and the main driver would it be if name equals to main uh, in this case we want we need to run run app well, start app okay run app is just fine so we say app dot run and enable the debug mode debug equals to true and uh, is this true spelled like yeah like this and also let's enable the threaded mode just to make this web application oh my god uh, to make this web application multi-threaded and also we need to provide um, base root yeah base base route so we say app.route and well I guess we can do this uh, in the home page so let's uh, say dev, dev home and return um, render template well I, can, I guess we can use render template string here just to avoid making okay maybe just okay just as far as we have the templates folder already just yeah I can I can use okay but hold on a sec do we have many data here well okay let's just let's just keep it so uh, render template uh, well, let's call this scraper.html so just create a new file here um, call this scraper.html uh, Okay, it would be better to suggest to wait using all of this stuff along the way. Okay, just hold on a sec. Okay, so 
before we go actually with this uh, with this kind of guy so I just can see a scraper here so uh, uh, just just to, to make sure that the app works so uh, so uh, this kind of uh, header tag comes from the layout so it would be uh, the same uh, all along the way okay and and uh, this comes from the scraper.html so I don't know th does he have some bootstrap here yeah he does fortunately bootstrap 4 yeah perfect okay so um, now let's uh, actually uh, compose uh, a form here uh, I don't know is it already time to do that so also we'll need to provide the server side logic yeah but but without the form it's nothing really much to be talking about here okay so uh scraper.html so just let me think uh if we will be doing this uh it's kind of uh the next thing to consider here is actually uh, are we supposed to be going to be going like asynchronous manner uh, with an asynchronous manner so uh, if the scraper would be running in the background which is kind of more proper way of doing things and in that case we'll need to make use of the jQuery uh, post request to the API the endpoint that we will need to create otherwise if we just want to um, go straight away uh, but in this case the scraper would block the input so it's not it's not a way to go so probably uh, I guess instead of using the form and the submit button probably we'll need just to make um, we'll need just to make uh, a form with, <laughs> without the form yeah so um, okay guys so just uh, I don't don't really remember the, all this web stuff by heart so that's the reason I will be referencing uh, some of the code I've created before let me just Oh my god, let me think. I need I need the user input and uh, yeah, I need the user input tag. Uh, okay, maybe maybe I will remember this somehow. So input type uh, text, right? We'll need to provide the ID, so ID would be equal to category and uh, I don't know placeholder. How how is that called? Okay, let me just see if uh, if it appears here. Okay, so also class would it be equal to I guess form control I don't really, re really remember that probably this should be the form control oh now it goes through all the way okay and if I just create a button here um, so like uh, class equals to BDN BDN success. So this all are bootstrap related classes. Well, uh, as far as it's not a web scraping tutorial, I'm not going going to be explaining explaining this in great detail. So you can check up my uh, Flask tutorials playlist. Uh, uh, all this kind of stuff is being explained there. So just feel free to check that out. Mm, and scrape the magic scrape button. Okay, and uh, let's enclose this within the div class. I guess it's called input group. I'm not sure, but I just want to make them uh, on this single line. Just save and yeah, now it's better. And uh, also, you know, like uh, I just want to make this uh, uh, slightly shorter. Okay. 
okay this is this is nice and also here margin right let's put it to two okay now it's slightly better so here we will, here we would be providing our um, here we would be actually providing uh, our stuff okay probably we don't even we will probably even be able to use this code within the scraper as far as we're not uh, submitting any forms yeah probably I guess that would be possible as well okay so uh, oh my god let me remember how that is done within the jQuery so um, okay so JavaScript script and here uh, mm, we need to make an asynchronous well I guess post request to the particular URL endpoint to the API endpoint uh, uh, so API post post request uh to in it um, category uh, well not only to well to in it scraper settings file okay and so uh, we need to find this by ID so uh, category copy beast category and is this dot text or or well I guess this is well right so okay let me just uh, category equals so let me just log this um, Category save. Um, just update and go into my developer tools. Yeah, it's gonna be morning quite pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so uh, console. Okay, so jQuery is not imported. That's the reason. So let me just again, like, kind of see. So I just need to import the jQuery at some point. Uh, well, whatever, whatever would contain. Uh, yeah, here is the jQuery. Here is the string to import the jQuery uh, into our project. So. Oh, he did import the jQuery, but it's before. Okay, so um, I guess yeah, let's just put the scripts uh, right over here. Okay, now this should work, I, I guess. And I just print something. Uh, okay, the, the, that's just because there is there is nothing there. So um, let's do this on button click scraper HTML. So um, we need also to give an ID to this button. So ID equals to scrape. So we can say like scrape on uh, on click sorry on click and I'm using the arrow function definition which is the short part for a uh, JavaScript function definition so on click uh, 
let me just try to print Okay, so now we're getting the input of the of this input fill basically. So this is this is really nice. So uh, from now on, we can actually start making um, uh, API calls. So API call, and we can simply say uh, I don't remember. I don't remember guys just <laughs> how to make uh, how to make this uh, ghost request jQuery dot ghost is this <laughs> oh my god I don't remember uh, <laughs> oh yeah the brain completely forgets uh, that you not that you're not using in your daily life uh, and daily projects so okay it's just faster to be probably uh, just to google this again so I say uh, jQuery post request mm, I just don't remember the syntax completely so jQuery post uh, okay so just just post there it's probably the same yeah post uh okay and uh, so the url to post right and the parameters and the callback function okay so uh the url to post would it be we didn't yet provide this but uh let's say uh call this uh run run scraper Let's call this simply run, and the parameters to path uh, I say category uh, would it be equal to actually this category that we just created here, and um, so here we say like extract user input, e extract uh, uh, extract well parameter from user input like this okay and here we put passengers and now this will work because we didn't yet provide uh, the route to take this API call to receive uh, to receive that API call so and category yeah but what post is not a function you kidding me man What did I do wrong here? Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, just, just okay. Maybe just no. Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, it's not necessarily to data status. want to uh, check that out if, if the response actually fires or not <laughs> okay post is not a function maybe hey what kind of jQuery is, is there being imported I, I'm wondering slave main JS oh man that's because the jQuery sucks here Okay, let's try uh, somewhat more appropriate jQuery uh, layout. Cop 
copy. So, so weird things might have happened when you're working with with someone else's code, basically. So, okay, uh, scraper H, not layout here. Uh, So let me just check that out if it works. Okay, now perfect. So now it makes the post request. So th that that was the version containing like minimalist jQuery that doesn't have uh, this post and get methods, which is weird and not really good. So this is the normal version of jQuery that actually does contain that stuff. Okay, so uh, now we need to handle this route and this is like the interesting backend part starts from here. So I'm going back to our app.py file here and we need to uh, create uh, like run scraper route here and I simply say app.route and the path here so like this and also specify the methods equals to and here I need to define the post method because our jQuery uh, API call makes a post request here and let's call this callback function def run as well and return mm, uh, well let's call this success and save so this success would be printed within the developer tools I hope so we just uh, make it again. What? Uh, sorry. <laughs> of course, did uh, did need. Uh, I didn't specify the URL correctly. Okay, response is not defined. for a while oh response is not defined like this so just wrong variable name okay uh, date okay so now we're getting the successful uh, uh, response from mm, from our backend here so uh, we did successfully return from so I don't need the scraper this one so here uh, let's imagine that the scraper code has been processed correctly and everything is, is nice so here we we're getting our uh, success uh, in return so mm, well this is this is basic basically perfect and now we need to actually extract uh, user input parameters uh, so mm, let's say params would be equal to so we need probably to import request, right? So from Flask import request, I guess. And here we say request dot form, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken form dot get. And we're looking for category. So uh, the category is the key name we've provided over here. Uh, uh, so we, we provided the category for me. So well, okay, let me just uh, just to make it more clear. Uh, let me first uh, just uh, show you this like print request dot form uh, save. And if we now just uh, run this stuff and see what we got here. So we have our category and what is over in there. So. Uh, and in order to extract uh, the category itself, so well, actually, we can call this category category like this because it's it's the, it's the specific parameter. So if we just uh, print our category, save, and mm, oh, what have we done? And run this again. Then here, what? Uh, Sorry. Oh, it's wrong. 
wrong misspelled just misspelled uh, phrase uh, word okay so now we have our category being passed from the front end over here using the API call to the URL endpoint uh, on the back end and here is our category uh, being extracted so to, just to bear this in mind and from now on we can actually uh, use this category in order to write our uh, settings uh, the JSON uh, file that would be uh, uh, that would serve uh, as a settings file for our for our scraper so uh, uh, this means uh, that we can simply say like uh, so write uh, scraper settings settings right so I say with open and well uh, there might there might be different techniques like uh, changing data uh, appending data so if there would be more than one argument you probably need first to uh, load this and then just store whatever is there just parse it to Python dictionary and then just Mm, kind of well uh, you know like well uh, I just want to uh, just for the simplicity uh, I want to write this file directly but uh, okay maybe I should have shown showing this uh, okay so uh, j just mm, okay I, I will actually show you this so uh, So let's call this like uh, test key and example like this. See, so uh, if we just write this file, uh, this line would disappear, right? So we need to keep it. So in order to do that, so first, uh, before doing this, uh, so uh, settings content and settings file and we say like uh, with open mm, settings.json read the file stream as file so literally literally the same that we we've been doing before for line in f dot read uh, settings plus equals line now we need to parse settings by saying so we need to import JSON as well. Uh, save. So here we say settings equals JSON loads settings like this. And let's just simply try to print uh, the settings file that we have. So uh, now when the request would be made uh, we'll, uh, so I did the request and here uh, we're reading the settings so all the stuff we got here so now we need to change this so um, respectively uh, so let's bring the set settings before then uh, um, we need to like update settings and here we say settings um, category would be equal to category so this 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 one and after this uh, let's print the settings again save so uh, if I just run this again then we'll see settings like uh, what was there and then our input so the initial category was this one and after we just did this API call we did change the category respectively so the only thing left here is actually to store uh, our settings back to the file so in order to do this uh, so I don't need this anymore okay so in order in order to do this uh, we can actually simply say like with open uh, settings dot json we want to write the file stream right as file and say f dot write and uh, json dot dumps 
and settings like this. And we can specify indentation equals to two spaces as well. So just to keep the uh, the structure of the layout of there. So not avoid making this one line, but just this nice, nice little stuff. Uh, even uh, even we can make it uh, equals to four to make it absolutely the same. So if I now just uh, so uh, have a look uh, now we have our settings JSON like this so uh, but when I click the button and the API call is being made this should be changed right so we're loading our file and we see that uh, our uh, category has been changed right so just to bear this in mind and now let me just uh, get back to whatever here like occupant tourist uh, copy so uh, now the same so if we just paste this uh, uh, category we need uh, scrape and if we just go back to our settings JSON and reload so here we got uh, again the category being being changed so this is how we uh, update the scraper settings file uh, from the web interface so we're doing this uh, uh, so we're making an API call on the front end and on the back end we're writing uh, we are uh, updating the settings.json file which is uh, this is and this is it basically so uh, from now on uh, the only thing left here is actually to mm, run our scraper uh, and here again like uh, let, me, let me just try to think so uh, Okay, as far as we're using the API call, I guess we can do this just in the background. Uh, uh, okay, I just want to make a little test here. So, just import the time mojo and say like time slip or five seconds and save so uh, okay so now this uh, a new success should have appear after five seconds so one two three four five yeah okay so as you see uh, the response was uh, wasn't uh, Initial what, what what it didn't happen immediately, but after kind of a slightly delay and this this is how I, I did mimic the time of scraper to work basically, so uh, That's kind of it and Yeah, so So this this is kind of it. Okay, and now Let me think uh, So let me think is it already now kind of time to okay just delete this file for a while mm. okay so let's just try to let's let's try directly to run our scraper and uh, just right over here and see what happens so uh, I also need to import the process uh, in order to be able to run our pipe uh, our scrape spider and one, one little thing here so well for some reason uh, well it's probably a flask uh, implementation specific stuff uh, that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be talking about right now so uh, you can't just import the scraper and make it like uh, we did here like just create a crawler process run this stuff because uh, there is there are some issues uh, regarding the context of flask uh, flask uh, thread and scrapey thread. So scrapey can be cannot be run in a uh, otherwise, but in the main main thread or something, and flask doesn't allow that. I don't remember exactly. And there are kind of more professional ways of doing things compared to the one uh, I'm supposed to be using here. But I just want to make I just want to provide the most simple and straightforward and beginners friendly way of doing th this kind of things. I know probably that's why uh, I dropped the web development event eventually uh, because I just kind of. Uh, 
di didn't want to learn how, how to make it properly but I just I just learned how to make it work so it's you to judge basically guys so nevertheless uh, I will be using the sub process and I the idea here that we just be the that we would we would be just calling the uh, so here I say run scrape or uh, we would be using uh, uh, operating system command to execute our scraper so um, I simply say uh, so process uh, do I need to create a process variable I'm not sure uh, let's, let's, let's try process equals sub process oh yeah we, yeah we need uh, yeah dot p open and here uh, we can simply say python 3 uh, scraper dot phi and say shell equals to true so we can well it's not safe but in our case this is just fine so um, here here is the command so just just to make it possible to write to provide the bare command here where I'm using the shell equals true uh, right over in here so also we need to say process dot wait so to make sure that first this process ends actually and only then the success would be returned so it takes uh, quite a bit of time and well probably I would try to limit this uh, so it won't be running for ages but nevertheless so it's time to uh, actually test this so uh, now here uh, after I click the scrape button uh, uh, so we didn't initialize the file and I hope the scraper would be running and perfect yeah so now the scraper is running in the background and see the success wasn't yet uh, kind of mm, fired so we're waiting I'm not sure how long does it take basically just to scrape kind of all of this stuff so we probably could have limit uh, could, could have limit, limit the scraper oh it, it has it's not it's not really that long okay and here is the success been returned perfect just perfect okay so it doesn't really go for a long time and now we have this JSON L uh, file being available here so well probably one last thing as far as we're appending to wellness.json L it would be uh, nice to add one little line here so before actually we uh, doing anything I just want to first reset the output file because mm, it just uh, otherwise uh, there might be some issues uh, during displaying that file so here I, I can simply say like uh, with open uh, wellness dot json l I want to write the file string as file and f dot write and simply well let's provide the empty yeah empty space save so from now on uh, it won't be so every time the scraper mm, runs uh, crawls so th this file will be kind of uh, replaced with the empty space and then all the data be, be, be appended again so let's check this out so now we have uh, up to 2053 two, 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 Okay, and if we just try to run our scraper again, okay, so we're running, 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 and if I just okay, just drop this kind of, I just want to drop this process, okay, and put the three up by again, so and if we just reload and end. Oh my god, don't tell me this. This did it again. Uh, maybe did I provide the JSON now? Wellness. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now this should work. I just created another file. Okay, delete. So, oh, uh, j j just believe me now, it will work. Obviously, okay. Let me just demonstrate that. So scrape. Now it goes. And and check this 
this out again. Yeah, and, and it's empty. Well, it, it didn't yet uh, actually uh, scrape anything, so yeah. Uh, sorry, that's my cat. Uh, it's been in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to call this in English, so. She, she's in the restroom, okay? So, um, okay. Uh, so now this file been updated, so it will be banned later on. Okay, so the scraper is running in the background which is perfect so yeah it waits until this, this, this process is ended up then it returns uh, you know what we could have actually yeah here we, we could have actually returned the actual data so uh, that's probably the way how we're supposed to be doing things so yeah uh, so here uh, we need to uh, so we say um, output content so I create an output uh, variable that would be an, an, an empty string for a while and now we need to load a scraper output and we say with open mm, wellness dot jsonl okay so let me actually hold on guys uh, let me actually just run this one more time so I, I just really need to scrape the data uh, okay so just need to scrape the data once just to, to actually have some sort of response there uh, so just to make sure that it's already something okay this is enough so okay and now some uh, reload okay so just to be able to so uh, I, I will I will also command this guys I'll just to uh, debug the logic of returning the output uh, okay so wellness json I want to read the read the file as f and for a line in f dot read uh, output plus plus equals line and here in order to parse we can't use just uh, json loads because it's not the json format there so uh, yeah so we need to say like okay parse content uh, so okay let's call this output raw and this would be the, our output so output would be a type of list Okay, guys, sorry, I need to clean after my cat because it smells really horrible. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for delay. So, well, it's not delay for you, but here, if you see how much time I spent. Okay, I also made myself some tea, so. Now it feels much better. So, uh, I want to create an output list. So, output would be equal to uh, a uh, kind of empty list. So, and we would be appending this uh, JSON data line by line there. So, ju just to parse it, just to parse the JSON L format basically. So, uh, here, uh, I guess it would work if. Or hold on a sec, maybe we just. Hold on a sec. Uh, maybe we can just simply split it by like okay output equals output split by new line is do, does this work so let me just try to print wellness json not found oh well because it's not the wellness json but <laughs> wellness json l okay mm. scrape 
Okay. Now it seems to be working. Or, oh my god. Uh, I guess not by the new line, but hold on. Why do you? I'm just wondering. Uh, no, yeah, not by the not by the new line. I'm sorry, guys. Not by the new line, but. Mm -hmm. I guess this like save okay okay uh, let me just print First element, just uh, uh, hold on. Just want to see the the structure exactly. Okay, so this guy's up to here. Okay, let me just have a look at the file itself. Address. Okay, and yeah, and we can actually just we just need to add this closing parenthesis, and that's it. So. Uh, Mm. So I'll use the list comprehension technique and item for item in this output uh, every item so it would be a type of string like right so I can just add this like stuff okay and probably I better say even like this so yeah perfect and from now on I guess this should be uh, uh, already kind of possible to uh, yeah to say JSON load so parse every single item here save Uh, why can't be parsed? Let me try to understand that. So, um, strange. The item, the item seems to be pretty nice. Mm. Okay, let's try to parse the single item. Hmm. Okay, so if, as far as this works, uh, why this didn't work? something wrong with the form again I don't know yeah, it doesn't work this way well okay so um, if it doesn't work this way um, okay what if I just enclose this into parentheses Try again. Still doesn't. Well, okay, so in this case, probably. Okay, can I just. Mm, do 
this way. This is really strange, so as far as a single, well, maybe, uh, maybe it's not regarding the very first one. Uh, okay. Just try to make this within the loop just to see what's wrong there, so I'll put uh, print okay, so here are our items I'm just wondering, can I make JSON loads here? Still the same. So this is really strange. Why well, can't be parsed actually? Uh, okay, if we just gonna try and accept. Okay, my my cat is just wants to get out. Of house, but I can't allow it because my wife, my wife is gonna kill me if I do this at night. Well, in the early morning, but still. Okay, so pass, save. Mm. Okay, so some can be parsed. Excuse me. Why? Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, it's probably the very last one. Okay, so it's just print output and the very last element. Well, maybe that's the clue. Okay, so as far as not, there is no data, we can, mm, yeah, we can simply say like, so, JSON loads and all this stuff. Mm. Okay, not, not, no, not like this. Oh my god, let me just try to think how to better, how, what's the best thing to do. Okay, probably for like this for index in range from zero to land of the output mm, item index. Otherwise, it won't be overriding the values. So we're just using the navigatable strings to loop over the list. Okay, so. I guess this should have worked now. Okay. And mm -hmm, print output. Or, hold on a sec, I can just uh, do this from 0 to minus 1. In this case, I guess all this stuff is, is not needed even. And JSON loads. We don't need the very last element, right? JSON loads. It's just the bare close and curly brace that we don't need.
Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys. So just didn't 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 really uh, need the the vertical last index. So yeah, this is this is it. This is great. And now the most intriguing part here that we can actually return our output. So uh, this means that our JSON data. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, dig to so the response object is, is wrong, but it was a list. Okay, so um, let's call this like uh, output. Well, maybe just data and output like this. So now we should have seen uh, our response in return. So all the data that we uh, did actually uh, read from our file is available right over here, right? So this is just perfect. So now we can use this data set uh, as, as the source of data to, to present right here on the page. And probably, I'm not sure, but probably we don't really need uh, this template like this kind of template because uh, we'll be rendering this using the jQuery instead so I don't, don't need this file anymore okay and yeah scrape or code layout okay yeah in this case <laughs> I could I could actually wait it using this <laughs> layout HTML but just 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 as a matter of matter of fact I, I did this well just okay forget that so uh now we need to so i don't need this one close don't need this one i guess mm, don't need this one as well and this one okay don't okay and don't need this one and here scrape or html so uh here instead of printing the stuff to console we will be rendering the this all this stuff to to the page yeah uh, the only thing that I did slightly wrong is actually I still need this uh, output just uh, I'll tell you why because uh, because uh, I just want to make it absolutely the same like in my subscribers initial implementation uh, because yeah it's actually don't forget it's not the bare tutorial from scratch but just um, kind of some sort of a help for for a subscriber at some point at least so yeah I will try to yeah I need this this part uh, okay so um, and this is exactly the stuff that we're supposed to be abandoned so He's using the card. Okay. So let me just copy this basically. And um, yeah, jQuery unfortunately doesn't allow to. Uh, append the multi-line strings. So well, let's create the content variable. Uh, it would be equal to okay. Just 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 to store it somehow. Uh, mm. Okay, I guess I can do this line by line. Copy. And now same content plus equals. Well, guys, it, it's not uh, it's not the way of doing things, uh, obviously. So things like you know, like front end frameworks like Angular or <coughs> Angular or React should be should should have probably been used here. But I'm just using the pure jQuery uh, just to make mm, to make this as simple as possible, actually. So. Mm, just 
populating our uh, my content to append it later on using the jQuery. Uh, I'm not sure if it works. I really hope so. Copy paste. one paste now this one okay so here um, well it's not it's not the way how it's supposed to be look like but I, I'll just leave it as it is for a while uh, So again, so div class card row no gutters column the eight card body card title card text uh, uh, okay so let's actually close the p tag here and div 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 copy four divs right one yeah two three four oh my gosh well actually one two three four this is enough okay i hope i hope this is just fine so now we need also to provide some more view element here so uh let's create a div Mm, class no not the class id equals output so like this and if i'm not mistaken we could have do something like saying mm, append uh, no let's just call this render content dynamically so let's search using jQuery let's search for our output and we can say simply append and content also yeah it would be nice to print that well, okay, just uh, let me see what we got here. So if I, oh, what? Profile under undefined. Where is that? Oh, maybe this is because of this stuff. Save. Okay, where exactly? Scraper HTML H5 class. Okay, here. Oh, okay, so just, yeah. Uh, this stuff is treated to be the Jinja template converter stuff, so just get rid of this. Uh, again. And. Oh my god, what was there? Uh, okay. Scraper. error is this somewhere else the profile hmm okay hold on a second just just want to make sure so just want to track this bug where exactly comes from so is this a front end or back end okay so let's 
great. Four, five, okay, so it's somewhere over here. Mm. Okay, so we're making our request. This is nice. Uh, oh, probably it was because. I just didn't specify search by ID within the jQuery query. So, yeah. Uh, something is going horribly wrong with the layout, but uh, okay. Oh, that's probably because, yeah, obviously I need to put this outside of the info group. Yeah. So, I uh, just say this uh, output layout and well this would be uh, user input for Okay, so now we just did uh, uh, run, just just did create our uh, kind of element dynamically, which is perfect. Uh, one little thing to add here is that we're just gonna say class equals like margin top four, so it would be slightly lower. So copy. Yeah. So start starting from here. Now now it's more much better. It looks much better. And now we're going for the next step. So mm, here and title. So didn't he provide some mm, some additional uh, some additional stuff there? phone about hold on a sec so he did provide some more but where are they oh maybe that's just because they were not available there uh, okay Oh, so uh, here within the card title, he wanted the first name, last name, and phone. Oh, first and last na last name is one, probably, and the phone. And this is about okay. Okay, so just try to keep the structure. Uh, just trying to keep the structure as well. So okay, now we need to loop here uh, within the uh, API response. Uh, uh, within the API response, uh, we need to loop over all the uh, over all of this uh, items or over all the items. So, if I have uh, so data, it's array, and so about okay, so. Uh, oh my god, let me remember the fancy jQuery way of doing this. Mm. Uh, memory search. 
Spurs mean Jake Lurie each. And yeah, let me just see the documentation. Obviously, I just don't remember this by heart. Uh, there is a nice iterator implemented using jQuery, so uh, jQuery each. Mm. Just don't remember the or how arg how arguments should be uh, there. So yeah, documentation. Mm. No, not like this. Not this. Uh, each loop for ready. Okay, here it here it is. So, so first, what are we iterating over, and then the callback function, or this is also hiding. If you like, okay, let's try. Uh, So loop over data set and so response as an argument to iterate over and function here uh, for some reason here uh, an error fun function doesn't definition doesn't always work if memory serves me correctly I'm not sure but so but still so index well I guess uh, just the bare index would be enough. Mm. Or maybe like just have a look at the item. So save. Let's try to see. So copy. Okay, just okay. Maybe just I can say like rest indexed by the index. <sighs> okay, guys, just. Hold on a second, I need to remember how, how on earth I was actually doing this. provide an array I'm, I'm really sorry for this weird stuff but I just just want to remember the functionality of the each method so uh, to, to find wh where where I'm where exactly am I going wrong here mm. okay Okay, guys. <laughs> After gr grabbing the uh, code from this tutorial, finally, uh, seems like I managed to loop through <laughs> array using the jQuery each method. So here it is, basically. So array as the first argument, so index and value uh, in the callback function, and here we got our output. 
Okay, so I guess now we just replace this array using our response. This uh, should work somewhat similar. Uh, okay, but isn't this what, what I was actually doing? Uh, okay. Um, Let's inspect our response object just uh, to make sure what exactly we're looking for. Uh, okay, maybe we need to use <coughs> res.output or something. So save. Uh, okay, it just doesn't matter about this for a while. Okay, data. Okay, so we need to say simply res.data save. Okay, and here res.data. And uh, okay, perfect. So now we're looping over <coughs> all the elements okay this is this is good uh, so um, uh, okay uh, so we need we need we don't need the index I guess we don't need the index we need only the value Okay, and right, so first name, phone, oh, no, not that much, not that much, basically. Ah, oh, so the education is not being rendered. Okay, so he wants just the about, and this guy, and the phone name. Okay, so now we, uh, now I'm taking this content definition and pasting this uh, just right through, through the loop. And along with this stuff as well, basically. So every iteration of this loop, we would be appending a new um, element. So uh, maybe append content dynamically like this would be a better way to call this. So now let me look, let me have a look at uh, source code here. Nope. Oh my god, I already closed that. Okay, nevertheless. So, so, oh man, just page source. Uh, so, within this H5, so we want the name and phone. Okay, so within the H5 tag, so here. So it's not a value, it's actually, uh, let's call this card, 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 and, oh my god, how is this called? Mm. First and last name, paste, plus, and card dot well I can uh, I guess I can just make it like this way mm, phone card phone and save okay let's just try this for a while okay so we now have our name and phone being printed just similarly similarly to here Sim similarly okay and about the, the last is about uh, 
We could have had the address as well. So let's probably. Uh, okay, so here. About. Or dot about. And also. Okay, so I just. Okay, about is fine. Uh, I also want to add a small tag with address there. I guess this would have been just pretty nice. So if I just simply say like content plus equals and I use the small tag and just simply saying card dot address. I guess this would have given me what I need. Yeah, this is pretty nice, right? So just having this. Uh, okay, but uh, here. Mm, so and uh, just just to avoid this nulls, uh, we can simply say like. Uh, Address equals to um, card address uh, well I guess if card address is not equal to null oh, it's JavaScript it's not Python mm. and otherwise address equals to not available save let's try again uh, no, no not like this yeah mm. maybe not no maybe like this So let's let's inspect this over here basically. Cynthia Pop. Address no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, yeah, of course, I need to use this address variable. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry, guys, so now this should work. Mm. Yeah, but not available is not in the right place. Uh, it should be here. Mm. Address. And again. Okay, so it, now if uh, the address is not available, it's it's like been specified respectively. And okay, so let me just have a look at the wellness JSONL. So education and trading, well services. Well, you could you know like uh, I'm just giving a clue of how to proceed here. So if you want to add like services or education, training, all this stuff. So here you can just. Uh, uh, populate the content with whatever uh, information you, you would like to add to the card basically so also just uh, providing some um, conditions uh, like if data is available then use 
one scenario, otherwise some, 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 something different. So, well, in any case, uh, now it looks like even better compared to the original implementation, I guess. Uh, so, uh, I guess also would have been nice to make it strong uh, tag. Uh, I mean, just here, like, just to add strong and strong like this. Okay. Yeah, so now, now it's even better, I guess. Oh, oh my god, what is this? So, mm, so here if, if a phone might not be available all the time. So, also let's say if card phone is not equal to no. Phone equals to card phone else phone equals to phone is not available. Save and let's use our phone variable here. Save. Okay. And one more thing to consider, uh, I guess this might would be better. Okay, perfect. So this is it basically. And okay, so now we can actually put all this stuff into one. So br bring all the all the things in. Okay, so. Mm, now it's I guess it's time to so we don't need this stuff anymore uh, so here we, we may say like generate content tags okay so this conditions well th this code is self-explanatory I'm not go gonna be uh, commanding that so I hope that's clear Okay, so save. Mm. Now uh, I will just delete this uh, wellness JSON to make sure uh, it would be generated from the scraper. So nothing here. Okay, one one more thing I guess mm, is just to provide like scraper is working uh, stuff here. So mm, maybe over here. Uh, we can just provide the paragraph and ID would be equal to status and by default it would be equal to nothing right so here uh, on click uh, we want to update status and we simply say find the status uh, element also I, I want to provide a class so class equals margin left let's say four uh, and status dot text would it be say scraper is working and on success here uh, well maybe just to reset this right save I guess without a delay we won't really see much here so let me just try to provide a delay here or maybe just like simply uncommanded this would be literally enough okay save and yeah well okay guys now hold my breath and I hope I hope to see 
this stuff working really so I just need to provide an argument here copy and paste and scrape okay so no, nothing has been shown but at least the scraper is working which is pretty nice so let's wait until it happens and I hope to see the output at the very end okay Why it takes so long? Maybe there is just more data compared to acupuncturists. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it really takes ages. Okay, uh, for now, I just want to find out why status. Oh, it's not made like this, it's made like this, I guess. Yeah, probably text is a function call. Save. Mm. Okay, this is gonna take ages, so let's basically get back to our uh, acupuncturists, even though this file seems to be pretty nice. I just get rid of this, delete. Uh, copy and yeah so consular it takes too long so what oh just stop the app python 3 and the five okay so let's try acupuncturist and scrape okay now scraper is working so the user is kind of seeing that the scraper is working so here uh, if you see what happens in the back end so the scraper is really working in the background and as far as it fires uh, until the end I hope the data would be rendered over here so let's just wait for a while until it actually stops okay perfect so now we got our data back Okay. Oh my god, what do I done? Did it just close? <laughs> oh man. Did it just close the browser? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, one more time. So, localhost paste. So, let's see this again. So, here uh, our app is waiting. I'm pressing the scrape button. So, scraper is working appearing. So, our scraper is working. Yeah, my mouse is going crazy. It went here and just yeah, uh, the, the the left button was clicked. That's why the browser tab has uh, uh, was closed. Actually, uh, the entire browser closed. So yeah, so this should have disappeared, right? So scraper is working, disappeared, and now we have actually our data being rendered. So Alexander, uh, Alexander, if you're still watching this video, well. I hope mm, this is the exact behavior of uh, this this sort of thing that you've expected it to be. Actually, I, well, I really hope for this. Okay, my mouse is, is, is completely insane now. So this is it, kind of. So if we just uh, provide the consular here, it would be literally the same. Uh, well, just it would just take more time, I guess. Also, for some reason, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually print uh, that it is actually a counselor. Well, but this card uh, could be elder accordingly, so that that's kind of it. Uh, well, guys, uh, I guess this is it for uh, this tutorial. I'm sorry for it took quite a bit of time to complete. You know, like uh, I wait for this. Uh, you know, like, I, I just woke up in the night. In uh, I just woke up in the night. <laughs> And uh, you know, like assuming that mm, today, I already can say that today I won't really have time for making this because my wife is arriving and you know, like lots of stuff to do there. So uh, I'm really happy that uh, this night was spent on this tutorial. So eventually, we did like uh, absolutely the same that was actually requested, at least to my personal opinion. So. 
I hope you you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you like this. Well, should we go through the implementation details one more time? Some with a, some sort of a summarizing. Okay, let's do it. So uh, I got the initial scraper here, so the initial scraper code, and I created a Flask application that. Uh, took uh, th that had uh, kind of two routes so the first route is actually what you literally see here on the page and the second route is the API route so uh, here uh, uh, on the front end we're making so just just on a, uh, on button click event now let me find this uh, yeah so if we just click on the scrape button so the scrape button is over here so if we just here click on the scrape button, then we update and label that the scraper is working. Uh, we're extracting the user output from the category uh, input text field, and then we're making an, <coughs> an asynchronous uh, post request to the slash run API endpoint to our backend, and we're pass. Uh, so also yeah, we're uh, uh, just when we uh, just uh, as soon as the callback fires. Uh, we get rid of scrapers working label and then we're looping through the uh, response data and we're generating the content dynamically so we're creating this this cards over here so with a t uh, with a name phone address and some description apparently and we we are appending this uh, mm, kind of cards one by one within the loop but it, it really goes fast so it's just like uh, goes appended instantly basically so well this is it pretty simple so uh, also uh, on the back end uh, when we process this post request wh what happens so we're extracting the category uh, which is the user input text for text field input uh, text field content and we're we're opening the settings of JSON file which is fed to the scraper as as a status file, so we're uh, parsing it to JSON. We're parsing it to Python dictionary using JSON loads here. We're uh, updating the category and then writing the sentence back to the file. I know this might be weird, but this is really simple and straightforward and beginner's friendly way of doing things at least. And after the sentence uh, has been updated, we're actually uh, creating a sub process and running the operating system command to run the scraper we have and waiting until it's done basically and as far as it's done we uh, actually uh, uh, load in local file this wellness.jsonl we're parsing it and then we're just returning this as like in the rest api matter basically so we're returning this so parsing and returning over here and as far as this output uh, has been returned here uh, in the callback function like already been mentioned uh, so this response uh, takes this kind of output uh, variable value and here we again like iterate over uh, all the elements and rendering them and that's kind of it so this is it for this tutorial guys I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, like maybe thanks for watching uh, I appreciate it if you did watch this in entirely if not doesn't matter uh, I'll put the link to the source code in the description below this video so I wish you all the best until next time and take care